just say wow. Just, just wow, this looks so good. What, what went into putting this exhibit in? Because we saw you last year, but now you're back and bigger and brighter than ever. So I basically, the, all of these paintings I've done in the last year. This last year? Yes. So every single painting that you see, uh, I've done since last Tucson. Holy cow. <laughs> You've been busy. Yeah. And then I had to go wrangle all of the paintings and ask the collectors that I did them for if they would allow me to do it. And everybody that I asked said yes. Well, it's because everyone <laughs> loves you. I mean, it, it's hard not to when you have this incredible ability to capture not only the aesthetics and the beauty of the specimens, but you somehow catch the, the character and the feel of them too, like their presence. Um, granted, I'm totally biased on this silver here. Oh yeah, <laughs> I wonder but, why. <laughs> you know, it, I, I think what I love about it is not only did you get that three dimensionality and you really made it pop, but there's something about the fact that you caught the history. You appreciated mm -hmm. the fact that it's an older specimen and you know, we worked out this incredible trade so that you could get that specimen that you liked and then I could get this painting for my dad for Christmas and there's something about you can see that you captured that within it and and that is the case with a lot of these because I think a lot of these specimens are from friends and people that you have developed a relationship 100 percent yeah there's stories behind all of these paintings <laughs> every single one of them which is why I wanted to do the little placards on them and talk a little bit about them um, yeah. because I feel like you just see the artwork there's so many hours of work that went into this case. Oh my like, God. Like hours of work. And I just wanted to like talk a little bit about it. And they get, let me put the placards in there to tell the story. And I'm very happy that they let me do that. And, and you know, this is obviously a part of the Young Mineral Collectors pod. You are, you know, an intrinsic member of the moderator team. And I, I have to say that the backdrop here, you know, the giant logo brings everything together and yet you still stand out. And I just, I, I, I love the way that this looks. Can you tell me a story about one in particular that you just really mean something to you? One that really comes to mind is this calcite down here. Um, I paint everything from a photo and with this one, I noticed that uh, when I tried to take a photo of it, just with my cell phone, because I, a lot of these were taken on cell phone photos. Yeah. When I tried to take a photo of it, I couldn't capture the way that the refraction rainbows were going on. And I realized you, you've got two eyes, so you're catching, bo both of your eyes are catching different little reflections. Yeah. And a camera only has one hole, so oh, you can't actually capture it. So I worked with a photographer um, my friend, Beth Van Allen, I worked with her and we sat there with little cards and little reflectors getting all of the little refraction rainbows that we could in this piece. And then I took all of them and I added them in artificially. So sometimes you have to take artistic liberties to make it look closer to real life. That is incredible and such an attention to detail. And you know, looking at this painting, you can see those reflections that are part of what make this specimen special, right? Like that you have those rainbow features. It's not just a clear, amazing calcite. It's a clear, amazing calcite that also has this ethereal, happy vibe to it. That one was a lot of fun to work on. And so I also noticed during the show over at the La Fonte tent <laughs> that you were working on <laughs> this adorable painting. And I think one of my favorite parts about it is the specimen's small, but it is so incredible and you're able to give it extra, I don't wanna say gravitas, but you make it important. You know, this is a newer style for you this year. Right? Absolutely, yeah. Um, so what I do is I take different quartz crystals, I put them on wood and I go out into the sun and I take about 50 pictures on each side of the quartz crystal so that I can have references. Yeah. Um, I feel really comfortable with quartz. So I can kind of freestyle when I'm painting them. This isn't a real crystal. 
Okay. So like, the, I just looked at a photo and just kind of worked from there. But I really like mixing the inorganic with the organic. The wood, every time people see these, they're like, oh, I love the wood. You can see the wood through it. And they're a lot of fun for me. They don't take me nearly as much time. Yeah. They're like a break. They're brush strokey, they're fun. And I... And they let you have, you know, because something like this, which is obviously a, a passion, when you're, when you're under that time pressure, when you're having to do these things to get them to the people, mm -hmm. you know, having something that you can release just your inner artist, and, and it shows that you're having fun. I also <laughs> love the fact that you can see the cleavage. Oh, and, yeah. <laughs> you know, at the bottom, and it, and it has this, you know, not only the wood texture feel, but there is something about the fact that it feels like it's popping out and like you could touch it and you could viscerally feel the texture of the specimen as well. I, I love this. As a friend, it makes <laughs> me so proud of you and it's been an absolute delight to have this. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>